All right, this Iowa Hunter here off the Rock and Bee Ranch. It's June 4th. I put this food plot in May 14th. Uh, this area back here is all Whitetail Institute clover, pure clover. Real high traffic area. And it's doing real well. I mean, clover takes a while to get going. It won't be, you know, plus until probably next year, I would say. Oh, it'll come in hopefully this year decent. But by next year, it ought to be knee high if I don't mow it. I'll be mowing it off, similar to what I got down below on that other plot. <clears throat> now as we open up out to this section, this north side of this four acres or so is all in power plant. It got planted about four days after that other section of power plant. And just four days difference seems like makes quite a big a difference in the weather if it's really wet or dry or whatnot. This has had a chance to start drying out a little bit even though it rained today, but you can see power plants coming up. There we are a little bit. Looks like it's gonna be pretty nice and even. Get another month of show and I'm sure it'll be over knee high, maybe higher, I don't know, once it starts growing. <clears throat> I'm trying to walk up here to the trail I made through the middle. Got a stand there I need to do a little work on. planted clover all through this. None of this has ever been planted this year. This last year, or this on the 10th. And then back here, <clears throat> on the east side, I thought I'd try my luck at some Whitetail Institute Chufa. Hopefully we get a few dry days going on here now and we can get some stuff to start growing. I didn't quite get all the grass out of this area. I sprayed it twice and disc it, but grew to from before but I got a feeling that's what it looks like because I got a lot of new sprouts in here and they all look the same look at that them deer's trying to get in that little mud hole right there and get some water <clears throat> I think this is going to take off I don't know if this will be enough of a stretch to chew for to do anything, but that'll be an experimental year. <clears throat> that north side that's all power plant, that'll end up in probably beets and turnips, radishes by the end of the year, or strips of it. And I'll leave the power plant for cover. This is another brand of clover that I see back in here. Uh, I think the bag's laid up there. Not sure what all it had in it, but we can look on the bag. I had just one little bag, so I threw it back here, but it's taken off pretty good. And here we got a nice sunny hillside that's well drained. That's what makes a big difference. 
But that ain't. For your trophy clover, all clover perennial. 100% seed, fridge and forage. Oh. And then I got some power plant coming through the center there. And then this whole field here, probably close to two acres, alpha rack. All the way down through there. But the outside edge of all of it, by 10 to 12 feet, is planted up in power plant. There's some popping up right there. So that'll be a buffer strip all the way around where they won't be able to see in here too much. Well, that's really taking off in, the, in there. That's a good growth from the 10th of last month. I can see the power plant starting down there on the outside edge where it's been drained more too. I think this is alfalfa, clover, and chicory up here. And she's had a hard time getting going because it just has not want us to quit raining. And then I got some more different clover down that other arm. Anyway, this is just an update on the food plots. The Iowa Hunter, we'll see you next time.